after segmenting the bone it's not possible to segment uh, every tooth and save it as an STL file. In order to perform this operation we click on tooth segmentation and the suggested operation is that we uh, center the tooth of interest in the multiplanar images the brush mode is already uh, selected so what do we do we are going to outline the tooth boundary roughly first on one multiplanar image and then eventually also on the other images in order to uh, start the selection process as discussed here we are using control and left mouse button so keeping control pressed we outline the tooth like this as soon as I remove the finger from the mouse I have startup segmentation performed by the software and a new object is then uh, saved in my list what I can do is to check if the segmentation is correct and I can eventually move to another tooth or I can click on next step and use the free for modeling tools to fine tune my segmentation so in this way we are now we are working basically on an STL file so I can use for example fill command to smooth it a little bit fill is closing basically they also is a very conservative uh, tool we can check on multiple images for example here we can use the smooth command to work on, on our tooth all the commands are working both on 2D and 3D so it's very easy to to check the results of our operations all the tools are working the same way of the freeform modeling tools we saw in the previous uh, in the previous uh, tutorials so tool size is increasing or decreasing our operation you can change it also with a shortcut by clicking on shift and mouse wheel if you want to choose the to change the tool strength you click on control and mouse wheel you see you ch the color is changing according to the power of our tool so if we click on uh, finish we finish the segmentation process if we go to previous step we can now click on segment another tooth and our new command is active we see now how to segment a, you know, a, a root with multiple a tooth with multiple roots like this one which might require some more operation in order to uh, to be correctly extracted so i suggest to align the multiplanar images to to the tooth axis and then we basically work the same way so we click on the control button on the keyboard we outline the tooth where we see the roots better like this we can hide this tooth at the moment and we see that the the result is uh, is not bad but we need to fine tune this part of the tooth so uh, since we could work it out by going to the freeform tools but we can use the manual tools here manual tools enable us to uh, basically correct the seeds the seeds that we see here can be tooth seeds or background seeds tooth, tooth seeds are these yellow seeds that you can see here and background seeds are the background the red one the, the red seeds basically for the software everything that is red is not a tooth and everything that is uh, tooth seed is a, is a tooth so we need to tell the software that for example this part is not 
part of the tooth and in order to do that we tell the software use background add background seeds here so we click shift and with the left mouse button we draw a line here in between removing the mouse will automatically correct it and here for example we have a tooth so we are adding tooth seeds we click on control we add the tooth seeds and the software is checking that so this is a quite fast way to tell the software okay this is a tooth this is not a tooth that most of the time works for if the quality of the of the ct is good and in any case what we do is to move to the next step and then use our freeform tools to to fine-tune the operation so for example i want to uh, smooth a little bit here you can check it can be very precise by using my freeform tools on 2d images i use you know, fill command to have it's better to use fill instead of uh, smooth because smooth is basically uh, removing uh, parts and uh, generally for segmentation it's better to have uh, something that fills the gaps rather than remove the the peaks or let's say of my of my surface and when i'm happy i click on finish clicking on finish on finish uh, closes the tooth segmentation wizard so it's better to save before uh, leaving the the wizard okay and now i can see that i have my new teeth here so i can change the color for example and i can see in the transparency of the bone that my teeth have been segmented before performing the teeth extraction we will need to remove the existing crowns from the bone stl file in order to do that we select the bone file and click on modify and we notice that during segmentation we left quite a good number of holes here so if we think that we will need to remove the teeth it would be much better to uh, be sure that around the, the, the teeth we have we are leaving basically no uh, no hole or at least close them as, as as much as possible so for example now what we can do is to cut to cut the crowns roughly we can use also the brush click control you can reduce the size of the area that you cut so you can automatically close the holes and cut and then with smoothing You can always fill or add material in case you have been too aggressive. But again, this operation can be performed in a much easier way while uh, segmenting the bone, while you are still in the volume segmentation mode and be very precise. This is just for uh, the exercise. For example, also here I can use my brush. With control, I can deselect the surfaces. 
Okay, let's cut. I've created quite a big hole here. So I'm refining also with brush. Okay, and then this is the boundary of my hole. I can smooth it a little bit. So now I have more regular surface to close. Fill holes. If you have some isolated components, you can remove them. I see. If I have this selection, I remove just the small parts. So now I have my final volume. Obviously, I can always feel smooth. And now I have a good surface for and a close watertight file for any boolean operation. So I now take my mandible, save the project. Sometimes boolean operations can be according to the file size, they can be quite critical. So save before performing boolean operations. Then I select my mandible, remove intersections with tooth number one. We already removed small particles before, but click on apply. And we have our first file done. Take the boolean, remove intersection with tooth number two, apply. And now we have our finished boolean operation. Click on apply. I can now I can delete my files. I change the color also of this object. And it is my finished segmentation. 